person than the machine. God forbid this happens, but you are in New York City, so you, so you never know. Uh, if someone can boost in through the door and put a gun to your head and said, could consciousness outlive death? And they force you to give an answer to it. What, what would you say? Well, uh, uh, that's book two. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have experienced what I believe to be mind beyond brain experiences of my own. Um, uh, including uh, people who had passed on or non-material beings from other planes of existence who had information um, and pushed it along, passed it along, that were confirmable. Um, the book I'm working on is about my mother's last 10 years. She probably had a few small strokes, lost her short-term memory, and her last year she was in this Buddhist bliss bubble of the ever-present now. It was quite something. For a woman who had been chronically anxious, she was now chronically happy. Um, and dead people started showing up to talk to her and spirit guides from the universe. And some of the things she reported to us were verifiable. So, so yeah, <laughs> I, I, I thought I have things to do, but if, you know, I'd like to think that if a bullet gets uh, aimed at my head, I'll have the um, confidence in my past experiences um and resilience thanks to those experiences that i'll go all right i guess <laughs> that's what this next the adjacent pop possibles of the next moment are radically different <laughs> than, they, than i thought they were but that's just because of my misapprehension 